Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back. I'm with John Comer, my partner, and Dr. Liz Lister, our favorite doctor in residence. Well, actually, you're beyond residence, aren't you? <laughs> Dr. Right. Liz, great to see you. And, I, you know, Dr. Liz, we have, I think, uh, Art and I have nine or ten uh, res we, we call them resident experts like yourself mm -hmm. in different subjects. And, but I think in a way you might be the most important one because health is everything, you know. Everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, being of a certain age, I'm very well aware of my bone density, uh, thanks to my doctor, made me aware of it. But it seems to me that uh, you, you get as you get older, you really should be very cautious about your bones because it's natural to lose bone density to a certain degree. You have to work at it to keep it, your bones dense and healthy. Right. And my recollection is just a personal um, uh, bias, I guess, is that it seems to me, and I'm thinking of a lot of my grand aunts, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, they would fall down, they would break a hip, and it would be the end. That was it. Right. You know, you lose your, it was mostly losing mobility, I think, that, that put them over the end. But it was always a broken bone. And right. it was usually a hip uh, or a leg. Sometimes it was an arm, but be, boy, when you break a bone at a certain age, it's ju you just can't heal as fast. That's right. So what is it about bone density uh, that that we need to know? Well, it's a huge problem, as you were alluding to. Right now, these are the most recent statistics in the past year. It's estimated that one out of two Americans over age 50 will have reduced bone density. Wow. Yeah, it's huge. It's absolutely a huge problem. It affects millions and millions wow. of Americans. And, and over 50, over that... You know, I grant it, <laughs> it's but, all your personal perspective, this, but 50 seems to be awfully young. This is not just an issue. We hear it mostly because of women. Uh, at least it's been my experience. Is they talk about osteoporosis and, and, and bone issues with women, but that's not really true, is it? Correct. It definitely affects men as well. It does affect women more often. And the reason is that we build our maximum bone density by about age 30. And there are a number of factors that influence how much bone do we actually build up to in our bodies. And overall, on average, men build more bone than women do, partly due to testosterone, partly due to just larger size, just a larger skeleton, a larger frame overall on average. And that is going to reduce the risk for... Now, for women who are smaller, more petite, who will have smaller bones, they will build up less bone and they'll be more at risk. So it's absolutely true that it is, women are more at risk and, and that is how come. So maximum bone density by about age 30. And then with all the changes that happen as time goes by, uh, among other things, we do lose uh, a little bit of bone density. And John, you mentioned there's things that can be done and we'll, we'll definitely get to that in this segment. Great. Well, why don't, why don't we do that? Because uh, I think that I'm sort of immune to these issues because uh, for many years I've been referred to as a bonehead. And uh, I assume that I have enough stores in my body to last me well for another 20 years. That's probably not true. Well, the good news is that it's easy to check. And I mostly, am, I, in my practice, I take care of some men, but mostly women. And everyone in my practice has their own primary doctor. And so, John, I'm really interested a little bit more in your story. But it's easy to check bone density. The most common method right now is a, called the DEXA scan, dual X-ray absorptiometry. And all it's doing is it is measuring the calcium content in the bones. Okay. And because we reach the peak on average around age 30, the score that you get on the bone density test compares you compares your bone density to that of a 30-year-old, okay, either 30-year-old woman or 30-year-old man. 
And so then it gives what's called the T-score. And the T-score is basically, it's a statistical calculation comparing, right, to that 30-year-old. And it goes anywhere from minus 1.0, so you're below. So zero means you're at the same level as a 30-year-old. So a 30-year-old person on a bone density scan should get a score of zero, maybe even plus if they, for any reason they have more bone density than average. So below is minus 1.0 down to minus 2.5. That's called osteopenia. And then below that is so minus 2.6, minus 3.0, and the number gets bigger, but it's a minus number. That is the diagnosis of osteoporosis. And it's important for people to know also that osteopenia does not always progress to osteoporosis. That's, that's very important. So if someone's diagnosed with osteopenia, there's a lot that they can do, and it'll tend to linger there for a really, really long time. It doesn't necessarily become osteoporosis. You know, it's kind of interesting that um, uh, it's so much in the news that people are paying attention to it. As I, I said, especially of women, but it's uh, uh, not so comforting to know that men should pay attention as well. But um, uh, we could probably have several segments on this, but is there a, um, a short answer to, is this just something you have to live with? Or are there actually things that, because uh, there seems to be a lot of ads on TV, which uh, I, I listen to skeptically. Are there things that we can do to strengthen our bones? Yeah, absolutely. There sure are. So the medications, I'll just make a brief comment, that are usually prescribed to help when people are diagnosed with osteoporosis. What those do, so bone is always being made, and then the bone cells live their lifespan, and then they die, and they need to be cleaned up. And so a lot of the drugs that are out there, not all of them, but most of them, what they do is they inhibit the cleanup process. And so you end up with more bone cells and it looks better on the test, but it's not necessarily stronger bones. Does that make sense? You need live, you want live bone cells. Yes, exactly. You want live healthy bones. So that's why you hear about complications from those meds. They're rare. All right. And avoiding a hip fracture at all costs is a good idea as you talked about earlier all right but meanwhile what can we do we can take so some degree of a calcium supplement with vitamin d you guys know especially that i'm always talking about vitamin d and how important it is so it's very important it's like the person directing traffic so if you're taking calcium and you don't have a good vitamin d level then you will not have your bone health optimized. The other is weight-bearing exercise. Weight-bearing exercise, you want, to, so for example, swimming is a fabulous exercise, but it's not weight-bearing. So to the degree that you can be out walking, I'm not a huge fan of running necessarily, but walking, uh, anything where you are on your feet, you're weight-bearing. There are people who actually walk in the pool. That's great. That's that's a nice way to do it as well. Okay, so those are kind of the two main ones. And then beyond that, there are other supplements that have other minerals that will help bone density. So there's a lot that people, there's a lot that, that we can do. Well, well, I like the exercise uh, part. It, obviously... Uh, supplements are important. I take calcium. Um, and, and maybe in another video, we can talk about how much calcium and why you need calcium. Some people may not need it. I don't know. Um, but yeah. the exercise and the, and the supplements um, and then medicines, whether they, you know, are effective. And of course, I guess it's, that, it's different for everybody. So that's all probably for another video. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.